can see, now I'm playing the bongos and I'm playing the congas. Uh, I love this new setup that I have here because for many, many of years I've been playing my bongos up here, which at the end of the gig, I always make sure that I give my chiropractor the money because of my back. So, I'm so happy a friend of mine turned me on to this technique uh, after coming from Cuba. He says, well, the Conguero players, they use their bongos right by them, James. I says, wow, that's really interesting. Because you can get faster, you don't have to reach. And it's right there. As you can see, that I created a little uh, piccolo snare here, a little drum set here. I'm also using a floor tom 18 inch as for my kick too. And also to make that punch come out using that kick port. Kick port, you have to check that out. Also too, as you can see that I just added a, a little wide cymbal here and using a uh, standard hi-hat here. Uh, also, you probably heard that I was using a clave, but it was not a clave, a little wooden block over here to my left. So I kind of switched back to the hi-hat and, and the wood block on there to kind of give me the accents. You can see that I'm having big fun playing the cajones. This one here is a special cajon here, pearl cajon. What's special about this one is that this one not only has two sides that you can play on, triangle, also it has its own built-in kick port. And you can see right here, this means a lot to if you want to really get a great impact. Also, I have a little small condenser mic in there that really you just put into the PA system man it you have a really cool impact on this so this is a really cool cajon um, I think this has been out maybe only two years by Pearl now so this is a great product that you might want to check out uh, two-sided cajon with kickboard tell another cajon that I have here I love this is an LP cajon it has a different unique sound to it as well uh, as you know it doesn't have a, a built-in kick port but you can also put a kick port in which also gives you that that power um, this one here is just a one-sided uh, I love playing this one because it's very cool in acoustic music as you can see the reason why I love using the cajon you don't even have to bring a snare drum because this is all the way down here is lined up with wire so that's why you get that snare sound Cajon. hello 
yes. Can you believe it? I love this instrument. It's not a cajon, but it, I mean, you can almost use it as a cajon too. But uh, this is the kalimba. It's like the, a bass kalimba. Um, West Africa. Uh, you probably heard the kalimba with Earth, Wind, and Fire. Maurice White is the one that introduced it to America. Well, now I also endorse for Goombop, which created a bass kalimba. So this is a very, very unique instrument. Kind of the pattern of a bass guitar player or so. Um, very percussive. Anything you do sounds great. Once again, thank you for coming to the House of Samba. Yeah, drums and percussion. Once again, nothing like water and drums. We hope that you enjoy the show. We look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.